friends, so today I have a review for you on The Dinner by Harmony Kolk. This is a Dutch book, so I apologize if my pronunciation of his last name was a little rough, but uh, it follows uh, two families, uh, Paul and his wife Claire, and then Serge and his wife Babette, and the entire novel takes place over one dinner where these two couples are coming together to talk about a crime that their sons were involved in. You follow the story through Paul's perspective, so you get his opinion on pretty much everything. And you can tell right away that he does not want to be at this dinner. He's kind of an angry individual, at least at this point. He uh, doesn't want to discuss what's going to happen with their sons. He doesn't even want to be around his politician brother. He feels like his brother is just constantly showing off, especially by getting them this reservation at the restaurant where they're having dinner because it's one of those like places that you can't get a reservation for like three months in advance. He comes into this dinner already in a bad mood and it really gets uh, a lot worse from there and you hear his opinion on everything happening at the dinner and then you get his perspective on certain flashbacks for events that are usually but not always related to what the current discussion is at the dinner table. Now, when I did finish this book, I had to sort of sit back and think, okay, did I not like it because the writing was poor, I um, didn't think the characters were fleshed out, or was it because the characters are basically all awful people? I do think it was well written, and you have certainly don't have any Mary Sue characters in this, but at the same time, I just... I don't know, we'll get into it more. There definitely seems to be a general either love it or hate it impression, and I am sort of in the middle on this. What I thought of when I was reading this book was, like, I'm, I'm one step away from reading some sort of juicy celeb magazine, like some sort of trash that you would just, like, see when you're checking out at the grocery store, because Paul is constantly picking on these people and saying mean things about them, or really divulging things about himself that he might not even realize he's doing, but you're sort of slowly figuring out that, like, hey, maybe Paul isn't that great of a guy. The descriptions of the restaurant were actually really enjoyable. Paul's, of course, doing it with this sort of annoyed attitude of, like, look at all these stuck-up people and their fancy foods and how expensive everything is. But as somebody who has worked in uh, restaurants, some of them, you know, like sports bar, and some a little bit fancier, I can certainly see where he's coming from, and honestly, it would annoy me too. So I was humored by that fact, and I was humored by the dynamics that he noticed between, like, management and the waitresses and kitchen and so on and so forth. So I really enjoyed that aspect of it and since the whole thing takes place at the dinner, it was a pretty big part of the experience. That being said, I pretty much disliked every character. I was holding out hope for Babette and Claire, but even towards the end I really wasn't so sure. Because you get Paul's opinion on everything, he goes off on these tangents and at a certain point I just got tired of them. I felt like there was too many of them. It was taking away from the impactfulness of what was being discussed or what needed to be discussed at the dinner. He was talking about one thing like with Serge and Babette and his wife and then you'd spend five, seven, ten pages He'd be talking about this one instance that happened 10 years ago. Certain flashbacks felt good because you were learning certain things about characters that like kind of helped you come to conclusions about what may or may not happen. But at the same time, I was just, I was done with them by the end. I was like, I, I'm tired of Paul going off and talking about all these random things. I want to know what's happening at the dinner. This might be a little spoilery, but I'm kind of convinced that Paul is basically an unreliable narrator because he is so angry and annoyed at everything. What he is seeing is sort of twisted. So if I had been sitting there at the dinner table, I might not have necessarily seen what he thought he saw. I don't know. It's hard to say, but I certainly don't like him and I feel like if I was hanging around at this dinner with Paul I would be annoyed by him. It does mess with your head because I wasn't sure really what to believe especially as I was getting further and further into the story and you figure out what their sons have done. You can feel the tension building as the different courses of the meal take place and you want to see what's going to happen but you're also really really afraid to look like I wasn't totally sure what was gonna happen and if it was going to be something that actually made me feel satisfied and when it was all said and done I was not super pleased like I was definitely shocked with the ending but 
I'm, I'm not sure. It just it makes you feel uncomfortable. And that's probably the point because, like, it's a scorched tablecloth. You know things aren't gonna go well, but how it ended up going was very surprising, but also just made me feel really uncomfortable. I think I'm gonna go with three and a half out of five stars because it did make me really feel something. After I finished it, I sat there for probably five to ten minutes and just thought about what I had read and sort of reflected on the characters like Paul and was thinking, okay, my first impressions of him were definitely not accurate. And it makes for good writing, but it at the same time, I don't think I would ever read the book again. Like, it was it was okay for that one time, but yeah, three and a half out of five stars for the dinner. I should also mention that it seemed pretty realistic, but there were certain parts of it where I was like, would that really have gone down? I guess. I mean, these characters are just so angry and so wrapped up in their own lives that... I guess it could have happened. If you're someone who likes stories about bad characters, um, maybe like mental battles, lots of like dark, not quite gritty, but just knowing that there might not really be a happy ending for the story, this is the book for you because going into it, you already know things are gonna get ugly and then they were just way uglier than I thought they were going to be. So those are my scattered thoughts on the dinner. If you guys have read this novel, please let me know what you thought of it down below. Did you love it? Did you hate it? I don't know. As always, all of the links are in the doobly-doo. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you later.